Hey everyone, welcome to another quarantine edition uh, uh, with Explore Vegan ATX. Dana here with Mayhul. I hope this is the side you're on. <laughs> and today we're joined by the fabulous Rebel Cheese with Kirsten. So thank you for thank joining Kirsten. us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and I, I, I like your mask. I love the different fabrics that people are using. Um, <laughs> This is actually a local cool new vegan coffee shop called Dear Diary. Yeah, oh, yes. they were on our show. Yeah, I'm trying to support as many of our local vegan businesses as possible. And then there, there were we received some um, donated masks too, which I'm very grateful for. But to support them, I also bought these. So that's awesome. That's great. Lisa and Josh are really awesome. So that's great that everyone is supporting everyone else in the community and staying safe. Um, so how are, how is Rebel Cheese dealing with this pandemic time? We immediately pivoted to an online model. Actually, before the orders were in place to close down, we had already done that. Um, so we moved all of our menu items, our grocery, wine, basically everything to an online marketplace. I wanted people to feel like they were in the store, so I tried to replicate that um, via our online portal. And we've been doing the curbside pickup and deliveries within a five mile radius, and it's been working well so far. We're very grateful for that. That sounds good. That sounds That's great fantastic. that you guys are able to do that. And have you guys um, modified any of your hours to sort of uh, make up for that or change any of your hours? We actually haven't. We could because it is quieter in the morning than normal and it is quieter at night. But we want to keep our team employed and we want them to have the same hours they had before. And if we reduce their hours, then we'd have to reduce their hours. And we didn't want to do that. Yeah, we can see that it's still kind of hustle and bustle over there. <laughs> um, it was insanity. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure that was awesome that you uh, had probably lots of uh, mothers being pampered with different charcuterie boards and sandwiches and stuff. Yeah, I saw a lot of picnic pictures afterwards, which was so fun to see. It was the perfect day for it. And what a great way to still social distance, but do something special. Yeah, that sounds that. great. Um, with the lifting restrictions coming up, um, how are you guys going to uh, do that? We're not. We're just going to keep operating as we have been. The, the, it would be, a, number one, it would be a logistical nightmare trying to make sure everyone stays safe and distant in this small space. I mean, it's really small as it is. We could have like two customers in here. <laughs> so it's just not worth it. It's not worth the risk. Um, and what we're doing now is working. Um, so, so why change so that we can have two customers in our store? <laughs> right, right. I'm obviously exaggerating there, but I'm, I don't think I'm that far off. I'm kind of looking around. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's just capacity wise and then you have to have yeah. the social distancing space. It would be really hard to have people. <laughs> <laughs> I did see a picture of a vegan restaurant in Europe they put um, little greenhouses outside to social mm -hmm. people and they're dining in Yeah. Yeah. Some people are using uh, shower curtains inside now <laughs> in some of the restaurants. So this I is guess. A business to be in, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> you, you never know. know. Um, well, how can people continue to support you guys through this whole COVID 19 pandemic? I have really appreciated everybody's patience. This is a new model. It's different to everybody. It's not perfect. We're working through the kinks every single day. So I've been so grateful for everyone's kindness and patience. Just please continue to be kind and patient. And remember, this is a new world for all of us and we're all doing the best we can. It's not how we're used to doing business. Um, so there will be some mistakes. Sometimes things may take longer, but quality is still like always, number one for us, we're never ever going to compromise on that. And that's why sometimes it's going to take a little bit longer than normal. Right. Yeah. And I'm sure people will appreciate that, you know, um, as this kind of goes on for a little bit. Uh, you, when we visited you, 
um, to have our regular episode there. Um, you had a lot of different, uh, you know, cheeses from New York and all these different things. Has any of that been affected during this time? Your resources, your supply chains, has any of that been affected? Actually, no, um, which I'm also grateful for. We're not selling as much cheese as we normally would, but that's, it's okay. We're still selling cheese and we're still able to partner with those other smaller businesses. Um, and we've actually been doing themed cheese boards, cheese boards every week. So this week we did what we called a Wonder Woman board where we promoted one of the women owned businesses we partner with, um, Wendy's Vegetarian Kitchen. So um, it featured all of her cheeses, um, so we're going to continue to do stuff like that to highlight the various businesses that we partner with. Um, but we're basically still, I mean, we don't have as much cheese. I just looked over a deli case. Um, there were a couple partnerships that were put on hold because they wanted to figure things out. Um, but for the most part, we're pretty much partnering with everyone that we've partnered with before. That sounds fantastic. That's I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and so I guess, so it sounds like it's business as usual as far as um, contactless pickup. Um, what can we expect in the future for Rebel Cheese? What are you guys thinking? This model seems to be working really well for you guys right now. You know, who knows at this point. Um, we have enjoyed having the online capabilities and we may keep that in place. We'll see how it goes. But um, we want to make sure, like again, quality and service as the most important things to us. So if by keeping that, we jeopardize those and we won't, it really is a matter of what can we do? What what do we have capacity for once we open again? We may go back to how we were before. Who knows? Because the weekends get so busy. I'm not sure we could do restaurant plus online plus delivery, but maybe during the week. We'll see how it goes. This has been a good opportunity to try new things. Um, so um, next week we're gonna do a virtual cheese tasting. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, more, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. Tell so us more. So basically um, we'll design a cheese board for this tasting. You'll pick it up the day of the tasting and then Fred and I are going to walk you through the tasting. So we'll talk about how the cheeses were made, um, what ingredients we use, um, why we came up with the recipes we did, like what influenced this one versus that one. Just a little that bit sounds, of history. Yeah, that sounds great. Good idea. Been, are you going to add wine with that? Because I know there's been virtual wine tasting. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. There'll be wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, that was my next question was, have you, are you guys still making cheese? I know you were developed, you had some cheese caves in the back and you guys were doing your own cheese there. So I just wanted to know if your production has stopped. No, we're still making cheese. Obviously not as much, um, but we're still making, we, we, we have enough sales to sustain the team that we had before. That makes us really happy because you guys had, we're just, uh, you just had started when we, when we came to visit you in person. So, uh, it makes us feel really happy that you guys are uh, still thriving in this, in this time. People want their cheese and wine. <laughs> uh, Mabel, I can already tell, is thinking about that wine tasting. Can you let us know where we can order, do the online ordering and delivery things for you? Absolutely. Um, it's on our website, rebelcheese.com. There's a button that says order online. Um, you can schedule it in the future or you can schedule it for that day. Um, you also have the option to pick delivery. You put in your address and it will tell you if you're within our delivery radius. And it's, it's been pretty seamless. We haven't really run into too many problems with online. Um, just pick your items, um, select whether or not you want utensils, and hey, and you're done. And you'll get a text when it's ready, and then 
um, will come out and greet you. Not in person, like one-on-one. -on -one. We can basically yell. <laughs> and then we bring out your food to you once we know you're there. We just want to make sure you're there before we bring it out. That sounds great. So sounds everyone. Super easy. Virtual cheese tasting. Check it out. Rebelcheese.com. And uh, thank you to Rebel Cheese. Thank you to Kirsten. Tell Fred we said hi. Uh, joining us here. And we hope that we're able to come back and have uh, some wine and that free sandwich very soon. Um, and uh, we'll keep track of you um, on Instagram and all those places too. So, yeah, thanks for joining us today. You're soon. Uh, yeah, everyone uh, stay tuned for more episodes here on Explore Vegan ATX. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.